This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 10. It's banking of a different sort, not your money. We're talking about banking your stem cells. Well, it used to be that people having babies were making that decision in the delivery room. Now they may get a second chance when their kids are sitting in the dentist chair. WGN's Julianne Rose here to explain. Hmm. Hmm, is right. <laughs> a lot for parents to chew on here because stem cells harvested through umbilical cords or blood banking has been one process. Parents taking precautionary steps to protect their kids' health should disease or injury strike down the road. Well, now perhaps a less invasive option. How about opening wide and saying, ah, but for your dentist, not the doctor this time, because now researchers say there are viable stem cells in your teeth. I'd heard of cord blood banking before for stem cells, but I'd never heard of it with the teeth, so that was a real revelation. A revelation Laura Robert acted on for her kids. Come here, Zippy. Okay. Come on, come on. Her 19-year-old daughter, Monica, had her four wisdom teeth out at the age of 17. She did it with no idea what the future holds for her daughter's health. As soon as they said that there were, like, stem cells in my teeth, I got it immediately interested. And you never know. You know, people come down with leukemia or MS or any number of uh, conditions that could be treated, you know, with the stem cells in the future. So it's just it's like an insurance policy. An insurance policy Elmhurst-based oral surgeon Dr. Robert Wolf believes in. Take those healthy reproductive cells from, you know, your, you know, your 10-year-old self or your teenage self, and they could be there when you're 50, 60, or 70 years old to treat, you know, any sort of disease, illness, injury that may arise at that time of life is really a remarkable opportunity. Dr. Wolf feels it's his duty to tell his patients about the process he calls easy, taking healthy, viable teeth from a routine extraction like Monica's and just banking them until you might need them. He uses Massachusetts-based Storatooth to do it. The kit contains everything the doctor needs, complete with a tooth fairy certificate. All the lab requires is a healthy tooth with some blood supply. Baby teeth qualify too, the wiggly kind. No danglers like this one hanging by a thread for days on end. The tooth simply comes out of the mouth. We place it in the container, seal up the container, put it on dry ice, and, and have it shipped off same day uh, to their lab. In a Massachusetts lab, researchers are carefully collecting and banking dental pulp tissue and the stem cells in it. But what about comparing cord blood banking to tooth banking? Dr. Joseph Lanning with Storatooth says to suggest all stem cells are created equal is just not true. Cord blood in and of itself is very good at reconstituting the blood system. Um, the cells in dental pulp are structural stem cells. Storatooth is banking on the fact these stem cells could make a difference in muscle, bone, neuro tissue, fat, and cartilage down the road. I consider stem cell banking something of a toolbox. He says these stem cells from your teeth expand your medical toolbox. It costs between $850 and $1,500 for initial processing at Storatooth and $120 a year to store the stem cells in liquid nitrogen. It's not a cheap way to fill your medical toolbox, but it is another way. So why have you not heard about it quite yet? Storatooth thinks there's a very good reason. As of this moment, we have not had anyone call for the cells. In short, no one's used them yet. But for parents considering cryopreservation for their kids' teeth, oh, it was a no-brainer for the row bears, a medical resource they hope they will never have to use. If it's one small thing that I can do that might help them in the future, I'm glad to do it. Now, this kind of stem cell banking is for your use only or family members if you so choose. No teeth with cavities or decay are eligible. One common question that keeps coming up on this subject, are some teeth better than others when it comes to stem cell banking? Store tooth says generally, younger is better. Growth potential is better and frequency of stem cells is higher in kids, say, six or seven years old to the time wisdom teeth actually get removed. That being said, however, there have been samples from 35 to 80 year old folks who have grown as well. Now, if you're 80, you say, gosh, this is something I really need to do mm -hmm. at 80 years of age. But again, I think people don't know what the usefulness may be down the road. And when you have family members to consider, maybe it's yeah. an option. Wow. Interesting. Never knew. Thank you. Really?